absolutely loving it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Jan. Welcome to my channel. Please do subscribe and join the family, show some love, because that's what we do around here. <laughs> so in today's video, I will be answering questions which you guys sent me. Um, you know how on Instagram, uh, you can do this thing when you say to your followers, oh, ask me a question and you interact with your followers uh, And I told you guys I'd answer those questions in a YouTube video. That's what this video is um, I did, To be honest, I didn't even expect that many questions It's the first time I've done something interactive on Instagram, so I was also quite nervous But yo, you guys blew me away like is that cringy to say? Okay, that's cringy to say. But you guys came all the way through. Like, you sent me so many questions. Like, I know by asperity, you know? So, you guys came through. So, I'm going to come through as well. Let's keep it real. Q&A thing. Let's do this. Okay, uh, I'll start with a pretty basic one. So, someone asked me, how long have you lived in the UK for? Um, so, my whole life. <laughs> If you watch my first Get To Know Me video, um, I said that I was born in the UK and I'm currently studying in the same hospital that I was born at. And then so a couple of people asked me as well, how old are you or how old are you now? 21! I'm 21 years old, freshly graduated, but I've gone back to study. And on that note, someone else asked me, uh, what? course are you pursuing currently okay so currently I am pursuing medicine I just graduated in biomedical science and I'm currently pursuing medicine and that has always been my lifelong dream I only studied biomed uh, in order to you know when you get in a vehicle just to get from A to B yeah so uh, biomed was the vehicle to get me to be which is where i am now not saying that this is my des final destination because of course like the course i'm studying now it has somewhere that it it needs to take me as well uh which goes on to my next question um somebody asked why do you want to do medicine i feel like this is like an interview <laughs> type question one of the ones they ask you when you're like before you get in um, but anyway why did I want to do medicine essentially it's because medicine and serving uh, people in the healthcare field is where my heart is I really want to have a, a massive impact on the healthcare system of my homeland Uganda so that is what my main aim is in studying this degree I want to qualify I want to get my experience I want to go back and I want to make a change that's what essentially that's what i want to do that that is literally what i'm ready to lay my life down to do and that's what i'm pursuing this degree for who is your favorite actress gabrielle union has really grown on me i think she's like the only actress i actually follow on instagram and i don't know like there's just something about her like her vibes she's just so lively and lovely as a person like down to who she really is like forget her talent aside her talent she's amazing yes but as a person she just seems like she just seems lit like someone you just want to be around are you attending 256 independence party next month party um, after party. you know for me like party season is kind of over now i'm kind of back into the flow of studying and uni and Ooh, we'll see we'll see if if i feel like i need to you know let my hair down a bit i might but um i hadn't really planned to yet someone asked me what are you most proud of in your life well i think i've done quite a few things that i look back on um that make me feel proud of myself like you gotta recognize when you know you've done something really amazing and you have to celebrate yourself be your biggest fan be your hype man in the mirror look at yourself and be like baby girl you're doing amazing i have gone off topic what am i most proud of um i'm really proud of myself for graduating finishing that degree was not easy i'm really proud of myself for winning miss uganda um, uk i think was one of my biggest achievements um, in my heart to myself 
um but those are the two things that i would say winning miss uganda uk and graduating no getting into med school of course no okay it all goes hand in hand those are the three things i'm most proud of what is something you're really passionate about doing besides pageants <laughs> first of all i'm not passionate about doing pageants i mean i guess it's fair enough to assume i did a beauty pageant um to gain a platform to do things that i was actually passionate about you see the difference like the passion was not in the pageant or doing pageants because if that was the passion i would have done so many pageants by now so what am i passionate about i'm passionate about my faith i am passionate about medicine and my future calling and and what god has and, and the purpose upon my life and and the ways in which god wants to use me and the ways that which i can serve and give back to the community and the ways in which i can inspire people in the ways in which i can just change the world this is what i am passionate about i just want to make a change for once in my life do you have any pets Ugh. yeah <laughs> I don't like animals. First of all, I used to be like scared of dogs, but kind of I think I've kind of outgrown that kind of sometimes. Unless you're bringing a scary dog my way, then best believe I'm out. But um, pets, no. Maybe I'd get a fish. You know, something I wouldn't actually have to touch and pet. A couple people also asked me as well, how are you finding med school so far? Um, another person asked are you enjoying med school so far how is med school going so well i've been in med school for like a month and a half now and you should have seen me on my first day of med school guys hey the excitement i don't even know why i didn't vlog that day i didn't even think about it but i was so excited if you follow me on twitter you would have seen um i tweeted first day of med school um i'm ecstatic all these things um but it's been a month and a half since and uh, at first I must say that I was quite overwhelmed by the workload and everything but I think I am quite lucky in the sense that I'm studying at the same place where I studied biomed so I already know a lot of people there and old years are so helpful in terms of giving advice on time management on where to um, prioritize and focus in terms of like the different modules what's most important to be studying at what time etc etc so with the help of people around you this is why a support system is crucial in anything that you do um with the help of yeah just those people around me i have started to like get into the flow of things and i'm really enjoying it in terms of the content i'm honestly i ah, it's what i've always wanted so i'm honestly really enjoying it what does your faith mean to you well um to be honest without my faith i don't know where i would be it means everything to me it means my whole life like i don't see anything past my faith the fact that i wake up in the morning i put that down to my faith in god that he's gonna wake me up the fact that i have the energy to be sitting here filming this video the fact that i have you know the mental capacity to be studying medicine the fact that everything i do is it's all god honestly my faith is the core essence of who i am i hope i have answered that question properly i also got asked what church do you go to um so i go to liberty christian fellowship which is in Camberwell, South London. The service I attend is the 11 a.m. service on Sundays. They also do an 8 p.m. service on Fridays. You seem to have an easier life, AKA studying what you love, a supportive family, a great friends, system, network. So have you ever experienced depression in regards to personal life? I'm not talking about the time when you almost didn't get into medicine but if so how did you overcome it um to be honest uh i definitely can say that i have been through a time where 
to everyone on the outside I looked happy I looked like I um, had everything together but on the inside I just wasn't content and I wasn't happy and I was just miserable when there was no apparent reason to be I went through like a very small period of time when that happened um, it's, it's, it, the way I, I got through that was basically just sitting down leveling with God and just searching deep into what was making me feel that way but I cannot say that I have ever been depressed and that I think you know that's this I can only thank God because um depression can catch anyone you literally it's just starts in the mind in your thoughts the devil catches you slipping and that's it like um but I think what I can say yeah I, I do get I do get negative spiraling thoughts and episodes of that but they never last long enough to be a whole depressive episode and the only reason that is is because of how tight i hold on to jesus when i tell you when i i just said my faith is my life like honestly when i feel my feel myself slipping i'm like Whoa, jesus where are you i need you in this moment now like negative thoughts sometimes i do let them consume me sometimes i I hold my hands up and say I'm guilty to that. Yeah, the devil t just tries in so many ways to get a, a hold over you. Like literally he'll try in any way that he can. Hey, but you also have to fight back with fire and be like, not today Satan, not today. And I think the, the key to maintaining, um, you know, good mental health, there's, there's so many things in that, but number one for me is praying especially when you're feeling down praying i feel like after i pray i just feel like a weight lifted i feel so much better than i did before going into prayer um prayer works miracles that's my secret that's my secret hack to life yeah guys <laughs> uh when are you coming back to ug <laughs> Um, I was actually just there in June, funnily enough, so the fact that um, I've just been there so recently, I'm not too sure. The one guaranteed date I do have is that my cousin is getting married next year in December, December 2020. <laughs> I mean that's the earliest guaranteed time I see myself coming, but you never know what could happen along the way. Oh, I really like this question. Somebody asked me, what are you grateful for? Um, I'm grateful for the gift of life, that I'm still alive, I have the gift of life. I am grateful for the gift of good health, you know, there's nothing wrong with me, I'm not sick. Working with and being around a lot of people who are generally ill and fighting for their lives has made me put just such massive value on good health and the fact that there's nothing wrong with me I'm breathing without assistance I'm walking you know um, I'm grateful for that I am so grateful for my family they're amazing I'm grateful for my friends my boyfriend my support system everyone around me and I'm grateful for you guys as well even the people um, that I don't even know but just show me so much support and love and kindness and warmness you guys like are honestly everything like i'm grateful for everyone in my life and I'm grateful for god's protection over my life how do you keep your vibes so lively <laughs> girl i don't even know i don't feel like i'm always lively am i oh wow i would take that as a compliment because i i feel like i used to be such a positive person in this past year i feel like I felt like I kind of lost myself, kind of lost my mojo and lost all my positivity and all that. Um, but if somebody who I see quite regularly, she goes to my uni, is asking me how do I keep my vibes so lively, that means I'm finding myself again, guys. This is amazing. Girl, I don't even know. Like, you just have to have a positive mindset. It's all in the mind. It's all in, it's all in the mind, you know, if you wake up and you know you're thinking about all your problems and think about all the bad things in life of course you're going to walk around like all gloomy you just have to focus on you know what you're grateful for all of that all of that good stuff what is your pet peeve mm, i hate to say it yeah but i actually have a lot i actually have a lot of pet peeves um 
oh no, I don't want to get in trouble for saying this, but most of my pet peeves come from when I'm driving, yeah. You know when you're driving and then the person in front of you is actually driving at the speed limit? Like, what are you doing? Like, move. That's one of my pet peeves. Don't know if I should be proud of that. I was made for Formula One. <laughs> oh my days, this question actually touched my heart. Someone asked me, or oh, it's not a question. Oh no, it is a question. So they said, you inspired me to become a UG YouTuber or Ugandan YouTuber and then you doled out why. Also, can we be friends? <laughs> um, oh, I shouldn't even laugh because she's got a point. Um, so recently I have, I had kind of like fallen off the bandwagon. The bandwagon? I've just finished my final year of university. I finished that in May. Um, so I had my summer break from May until August and I planned to film like so much for you guys. Um, I think I, I, I'd even mentioned it. And I was so hard on myself the whole time during the summer because I just couldn't bring myself, like I made a couple of videos but I just couldn't bring myself to do as much as I wanted to and I put, I put it down to my final year of uni being so taxing on me like mentally and physically like I was just so drained and you know I'm all for self development and progress I hate being stagnant like I'm always that person who wants to be active so this summer was so hard for me that I didn't actually end up doing as much as I wanted to do but it's so important to let your body to rest to let your body rest as well let your mind rest as well let yourself recuperate rejuvenate so you can come back like with even more energy you know I just had no energy this summer guys I'm so sorry and I even apologize now that I did not give you guys content um where you guys expected it I got messages that people were tweeting me like yo we need videos what are you doing <laughs> okay i'm joking it wasn't that much but you know a couple of people did check in to see like where the video is it um but that's basically why I, that's basically why um i just needed to give myself some time to rejuvenate against my will it was even against my will because i didn't want to be sitting around and doing nothing I hate doing that. I hate feeling lazy. I hate feeling like I'm not doing anything productive. But the mind needs rest and the body needs rest. I can't come and kill myself, yeah? <laughs> I have to look after myself, guys. I have to look after myself. But I'm here, okay? Your girl ain't going nowhere, don't worry. I haven't dulled out. I just took a breather. Alright, darling? A breather. And I'm back. And so I hope I can stay inspiring you and keep doing your thing as well. You asked if we can be friends. Girl, hit me up. Someone then also went on to ask me, how did you meet your man? Well, 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 well. To cut a long story short, my guy jumped in the DMs and he did the thing. Secured the thing. We got to play a bit hard to get kind of thing. Made him chase. But not to encourage anyone who is interested, please, to be in my DMs because I'm taken. Hey, if you didn't get the memo, guys, I'm taken. <laughs> Someone asked me, Where did I choose? Someone asked <laughs> my cousin, You're so silly. She was like, what would you rather do away with deodorant or the internet honey i'm not gonna walk around smelling like i could definitely do away with the internet as powerful as the internet is there was honestly a time where people were living without it well to be honest there was also a time when people were living without deodorant so that's not even a thing i can use okay hold on <laughs> Children or the internet? No, I'm, I'm definitely choosing to do away with the internet because as major as it has become in our lives, I know, but I need the internet to study. But I need deodorant too. Oh my gosh. But you know what? There's books in the library. Now there's books in the library. The internet can go. Someone asked me, Mokene or Katunkuma? Mokene is the little fish, isn't it? And Katunkuma, what's that? Is that like... Um, Katunkuma. It sounds like a vegetable to me. Uh, I don't know. I'll go with Mukene. <laughs> yes, and it's a wrap.
it's a wrap it's a wrap it's a wrap honestly you guys asked me way more questions than i anticipated i hope i've given you all sufficient answers like i was i was just freestyling on the thing but yeah i did try to be as honest and as real with everything that i said you know nothing i said was a lie actually i've been as honest and as real as i can be in everything that i've said and i hope you all feel like i've answered your questions sufficiently i mean if not then sorry in it <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching love you guys as always you guys are amazing you rock you rock you rock you rock you guys are amazing subscribe please if you haven't already like please because um i have new videos coming of course what else Feel free to comment like which other videos you would like to see me do. I am open-minded, open to ideas. Um, that's it. Have a good evening. Have a good day. A good morning. Whatever time you are watching this. And I'll see you in the next video. Mwah.